Okay, so based on what we've now just learned here, let's go and prove a few theorems. But before we do, I want you guys just to fill in the rest of this for me. Okay, so here we have two parallel lines. To show parallel lines, we use these little arrows to show that they're parallel. And then we have a line intersecting it. Now with what we've just learned, let's say this one is 60 degrees. I want you to go and fill out all of the other angles. So we've got that angle, that angle, that angle, that angle. See if you can fill out all of the other angles and you're allowed to use anything that we've learned so far. Okay, so um, Carl, give me this one. 120. Okay. 120. Um, could that so give me the one next to it, this one? 60. 60. Um, sorry, Carl, why was this one 120? Um, I used, uh, yeah, since both. Uh, Angles on a straight line. Good, thank you. And then why is this one 60? Oh, it's 60 because they're also on a straight line with or the 120. With the 120 or vertically opposite. You could choose which one you want to use. Okay. Um, Karabo? 120. That one is 120. Okay. Good. Carl, how big is this one? Uh, it's, it's almost 60. Why is this one 60? Oh, you're not allowed to do that. <laughs> but that's so a why, why is this one 60? Because um, the interior angles of that angle equal to 180. Good. So this angle plus that angle together must be 180. Yes. Okay, very good. So these two are supplementary. Okay, Karabo, how big is this one? Why is this one 120? These two again are supplementary to each other, or you could use that these two together are also supplementary. Okay, angles on a straight line. Okay, then I'll finish the race. This is 120 degrees, and this is 60 degrees. Okay, um, vertically opposite or angles on a straight line. Okay, the reason why I wanted to show you this is um, because I want to show you that this angle here is equal to that angle there okay that one is going to have a special name as well okay we're going to call this alternate angles okay the same goes for this one we'll, we'll look at the proofs just now same goes for this one and that one they're alternate angles and then we notice that this one here is equal to this one here okay and this one here is equal to that one there and this one here is equal to that one there okay and the this one here is equal to that one there so there's a lot of angles that are actually equal to each other you can actually see that there's only two angles going around here and for those two angles add up to 180 so let's look at the next theorem okay so this one the shorthand for what we've just just did is co int angles co int angles and when you use that co int angles are equal to 180 just if this was a b b uh, sorry not b again as uh, cd just write here that a b is parallel to b c or whatever the parallel lines is just specify the parallel lines as well okay the next theorem that we are going to do is that corresponding angles are equal okay corresponding angles now what corresponding angles are is an 
I wanted to show you using the program, but I think I'm going to struggle a bit. But um, basically, if I've got two, or I've got parallel lines and a line cutting it, we know that these are the co interior angles and they are supplementary. The corresponding angles are the angles that if I were if I was able to take this this intersection and I moved it down here can you imagine me moving this taking this thing cutting it out and moving it down there then you'll notice that this angle will line up with that angle do you agree with me and this angle here will line up with this angle there are you seeing it in your mind's eye I'm cutting out this thing and I'm moving it down I can try, but I doubt it will work. Okay. Oh. Okay. So notice there that that angle there lines up with that angle there. Do you see it? Yes. Oh man, cool. Okay, it worked. Cool. And those would be corresponding angles. Corresponding angles are equal. So let me see if I can just rename this. Because you guys now need to prove this. We can say it's true, but we still have to prove it. So here's A, B, C, D, E, Okay, so it's your work now to go and prove this. Okay, quickly give me your to prove. What is your to prove? Remember, that's the first thing we have to start with. Excellent. Good. If you wanted to, you could have said ECB is equal to GHD, or um, you could use these two, or you can use those two. I like what you chose. It doesn't matter though. Uh, do you notice that it's similar to a previous proof we've done? We want to prove two angles equal to each other. Remember how I did that? I gave an I found a formula for the one and a formula for the other one and I saw that those two formulas were equal. That's one way of showing the two things are equal. Okay, so what I have here is I've got an EGA and I find the this is EGA and I want to show that it's equal to this one now what is the link between the two um, and, and, and that's a point kind of intuitively you need to be able to see that the link between the two is this angle right here because it's together these two are 180 and together these two are also 180 and that's the point so I would say that E G A is 180 degrees minus angle a g h okay a g h okay so this and those two add up to 180 why they are adjacent angles on straight line okay and then i see but, or I do want to write it, um, and sorry, this one was wrong, this should be CHF, uh, CHG, sorry, CHG, so, but CHG is also 180 degrees minus this one, this one, and this one are 
between the two parallel lines on the same side of that parallel line that makes them co-interior so that means they are also a supplementary they add up to 180 so this is also a g h a g h so these two and uh, that is co-interior co-interior angles and then i just need to say that a b is parallel to c d and now i see i've got two expressions for two different angles but the two expressions are the same that means therefore and then i use these therefore e g a is equal to c h g okay and this is going to be corresponding angles we're calling it from now you can use c o r r car angles and then you also just so you're allowed to use it now now you're allowed to use corresponding angles are equal as long as you use this in the reasoning together with whatever parallel lines you are referring to